Testing, one, two, three, Lou. Testing, all right, I think we're good. <clears throat> My GameCube decided to uh, freeze on me, and I had to restart. So, what's going on, everyone? No, it doesn't usually happen. Usually, we start off pretty good. Uh, but yeah, thank you. Thanks for stopping by. I am here. CM Chris, Apex Shadow, Shy Boy 1992, Total Titan, Resident Fantasy, Moderator in the chat, Godchild. What's going on, everyone? Hope you can hear me pretty well. Hockey fan. Cloudy, what's up, man? All right, so um, this is just me doing testing stuff. We're going to do a game reset. All right, so welcome. This is the fourth survivor. Uh, I pretty much never attempted this uh, whatsoever. Never. Um, on the channel. I mean, I played it before, but I've never actually recorded it. I've never delved into the uh, the content. Jake Boy, what's going on? Cody Powers. It's going good, guys. Quick question. I saw Resident Evil 7 Gold for 25 bucks. Is it worth it? That's 25 bucks. That's not bad. 25 bucks isn't bad. It actually came down in price. It's good to know that it came down in price, actually. Yo, where's Barry? What's going on, man? Yeah, thank you, man. Yeah, sorry. The GameCube was fucking up on me. So, here we go. Um, this is on the GameCube. I'm playing this on my original GameCube. My purple lunchbox. My Resident Evil 2 disc. And my memory card. So, it doesn't matter which story that you load up. Uh, it's... Yeah, it's going to be on the save here. We have the arranged data and the original data. So we have Claire A, Leon B, Leon A, Claire B. So I got all this done on the GameCube years ago. And got hunk right here. And to get hunk, you have to get an A on the four scenarios. And to get tofu, you have to get an A on six scenarios simultaneously so like so like back to back to back that's how you get tofu so these modes that are going to be implemented in the remake are i wonder how they're going to make them as challenging to get do you have to get certain ranks to get these you know up on to unlock we'll see
What's your favorite console to play RE2 on? Uh, probably the Dreamcast, I'd say, is probably my favorite. I like the GameCube, though. It's really quick. The load time's very fast. I was playing this with John at a Dustin's house, and we were like, wow, this thing that loads really quick. It's been years since I played it, but I did, when I had it on GameCube, I, I did everything on it. Uh, but going back to it, I like the GameCube as well. Um, but at the same time, I think, like, there's going to be some cool things they're going to add, you know, within all these modes. So here we are. We're playing this now. The main goal with Hunk here is to make it point A to point B and to also not get murked on the way because we can't get anything from killing any of these enemies. So if you can run from them, run from them. GameCube ha the GameCube has very smooth textures. You have risen. <laughs> dun dun dun. I love that song. Ugh, I'm getting chomped on. At least you know Hunk can take a lot of damage. See, some people could do this very quickly. It's been a while, so I'm going to have to... Look at this. I am tired, but I am still I'm still here. We're gonna attempt not to die by the sp the spooters. The spooters. Oh no. No, I'm already on danger. I might just restart. That's just something you might need to restart on, is just me almost dying by the ladder. Ooh. That's all you give me? Oh man, I'm gonna be on caution, yeah. Alright, let me let me give this a restart. Let me give this a game reset. Let's do this for real. Is the audio good guys? Everything's good. I sound good, right? Audio, I'm loud and clear. I should be loud and clear. I have this fucking boom mic and stuff, so hopefully it's closer to my vocals. Omega Jack Red. What's going on? Yeah, can we get a thumbs up for the uh, the fourth fucking survivor? You're fine. All right, cool, awesome. So we're good to go. All right, restart. So yeah, oh, you just have to be able to dodge, and. Uh, It's a little, it's a little hard because, man, it's been a while since I played this. I think the last time I really played through this was probably 2009, 2010. Remember I bought this GameCube copy sealed and uh, now it goes for a lot of money. The GameCube copies alone go for like 40 or 50 bucks. I don't know why they got so expensive. can't hear the game let me turn up the game real quick It's a little, it's a little hard, Anthony. God damn it, where's Barry? What's going on, man? It's good to have you back. It's good to see you back, man. I haven't got a chance to really chit chat, but it's still good to have you back. All 
All right, so we did that. And it was random, but which Japanese imported bios of one has the original soundtrack with the awesome character opening theme? Was it the white cover? The white cover seems to be more expensive. Um, I think that's because that's the DualShock uh, director's cut. And I maybe that's the, that's a good question. You know, I'm starting to get the imports. I have a new collection video coming for you guys soon. You'll see that. I'm starting to get more of the Japanese ones. I actually just played through R2 and R3 recently. Ah, shit. Punk is damaged. You pretty much have to go all the way back to the police station. It's like a fucking hunt. on there your big Capcom goals of own Devil May Cry own all of them yeah I own one That's going to be the fun part, is me, like, doing this over and over again. This is going to be, like, the, uh, the Sega Saturn, um, battle mode. It's just me, like, trying to do this better and better, get better grades. Kind of, like, practicing on stream for me doing better. A dream come true, Resident Evil 2. Yeah, it's uh, it's finally happening. Yeah, I'm on danger. Yeah, that's it. I'm glad to see more people playing the masterpiece. I've been playing R2 a lot lately, but sorry, I'm playing R2 more. Yeah, I'm happy a lot of people are, are into it, you know? Even people that may have never played them might actually play them now. And I'm dead. Munched on. Hey, at least these are uncensored. Unlike the Dreamcast version. Alright, so that was. Let's just say that was a warm up. Let's see if we can do better. Yeah, you can get it really quick. Co-Veronica. I'm going to stream Co-Veronica soon. Alright, here we go. Try to do this right. Try to run through, you get mauled. Maybe we'll play more, a little bit more tactical. What's going on, Kane the 13th? Thanks for coming by, man. A lot of people from different time zones. Yo, why did buy me? Kyle, you in the chat? What's up, man? All right, cool. Headshot for days. Eh, just a flesh wound. Just a flesh wound. I'm streaming GameCube right now. Uh, from a converter and a splitter. Ah, shit. 
Yeah, a bit. Ah, you fucker. I double munch there. It's okay. Hunk can take the damage. Yeah, that, the GameCube... How I do this just to play it on the original console without emulating it is a little, a little weird because Streamlabs doesn't want to run this shit. Like, I, I stream... For, like, when you guys watch Dino Crisis 2, that's on a PS1. You know, it's on the console, so... It's all good here. All right. There we go. Cool. This fucked him up. I was like, I'm not getting messed up again. What is the appeal with Hunk? I know he's a badass, but what is it? I don't know. I just I just think it's cool. God damn it. I mean, the appeal... Over time, I don't know, people just like it. Fuck, dude, I'm getting wrecked. Jesus, these doggos, man. I'm kind of getting a feel for it because I didn't practice or anything. I'm just kind of going in blind. Testing one, two, three. All right, that should be good. <laughs> Hello, yes, one, two. Okay, I am louder now. I really hope that helped. Hopefully, it did. All right, I'm gonna reset again because I'm doing sloppy. I gotta do better. So I really have to, essentially what I have to do is worry about, I can run past the dogs, run past the crows, and all right, cool. That's, that's good. And we're going up here. And we're gonna go around. Is there something wrong with the over the shoulder experience? Not really. Gotta know when to shoot. Thanks for the heads up, man. Ah, get the f fuck. I hate that. I hate it. I gotta, like, not get the fucking shit kicked out of me before I get there. Save Magnum for the plants. Got it. Got it. I 
I know, I'm trying to dodge them, man. Easier to play. I think over the shoulder is more like casual, you know. Fuck you, doggos. I'm running. I'm booking this shit. Fuck this, fuck this. These fucking crows, man. How did he get past Bergen? Oh man. I'm getting wrecked. <laughs> Alright. That's it, I'm on caution. Oh my god. Just kill me now. I'm on caution. Are you to remake what might be one or not the greatest video game remakes of all time? I think so. It has that potential. I'm gonna die in the same spot. Hunk's dead again. Hunk died. Yeah, man. Everybody that's watching, drop a like. John's right. Drop a like. Makes us feel awesome. Leave the feedback. Alright, we know where to go. We just gotta do things a little bit better. I think having the shotgun handy just to like shoot them down or get past them. You don't have to kill them. Again, you don't really have to. Yeah, I know Kyle. You've always been on the over the shoulder. Um, and, you know, that's good because again... You and Richard had the same, uh, you know, things to say when it came to the podcast, so. Somebody subscribed? Whoever subscribed, thank you. I, I, I can't, like, look over the... Th I'll check once I'm not running away from zombies. Spiders because they can poison you. I'm waiting for the first under the shoulder game. Oh my god, I get hit three times with the fucking doggos. Because I gotta reload. I'm just getting wrecked. Jesus Christ. Restart. Can't mess up like that. You got to be on your toes. Wiffle Killer, thank you for the subscription. I appreciate it, man. Maybe Resident Evil 2 will push RE3 down on my list. 
Listen, make that Resident Evil 3 remake. I, look, I know I was joking about the DLC, like, on the, you know, on the podcast, but... Make it its own game. Man, the OG controls are what started the series. The new Resident Evil 2 remake looks cool with over the shoulder, but man, nothing can replace tank controls. People like that, I guess. Oh, the cheapest or OG player here. Yeah, Universal Jazz. Yeah, I again, this just this is the best. I still, I I always opposed the question. I was just like, I was talking to Richard too. I was like, what what what's it gonna be? Is it gonna be Resident Evil 2 is gonna be the better remake, or Resident Evil remake is gonna be the better one? And people that prefer everything, like how it used to be, tank controls, fixed cameras, are going to say Remake is their favorite remake. But a lot of people will say too. But it's cool to, to have different opinions, you know. Yeah, it's not entirely for classic fans. It's for the casuals and it's for diehards. So they have to mix it between. And like, you know, that's it. Obviously, they could have done something else to possibly, you know, make it apparent that, you know, hey, we're going to try something a little bit different here, and it's going to make sense. Because at the end of the day, you know, people want what they remember, and Resident Evil 4, 5, and 6 is what they remember mostly behind the back, over the shoulder. So, is this on Steam? If so, is there... Uh, Resident Evil 2 is not on Steam. They do not have the PC versions readily available to the public unless you buy the original copies, uh, which sometimes they run on Windows 10, sometimes they don't. You sometimes you can get mods. Uh, but this is just on GameCube. I'm playing with a, my old GameCube controller with no... Uh, Smoking the trees right now. Nice. Zombie Slayer 420. It's in the name. Alright. Those fuckers are dead. They're not getting me like three times. Yeah, exactly. We, we have no control of what Capcom does to Resident Evil. So it's just like, you know, just play it and whatever. People might appreciate it more later, you know. <laughs> the Sonic fan base. Ah, you fuckers. You motherfucker. I gotta remember, I always miss this scream. I always miss the dodge. What's going on? Angelic Diablo. All right, we're going to go. Fucking gross. What are the crows are going to be in the remake?
Ah, motherfucker. Damn, it's hard, man. What's going on, Mark Reviews? And orange caution. Thank you for the description. Alright, we're gonna go <laughs> over here. So this is just gonna be a stream of me just attempting this, trying to beat it, trying to get a good one. The, the battle mode too is something was was really fun this stream because a lot of people never have seen this and not a lot of people stream the fourth survivor. So that's why I was like, you know what, let me just do this for fun. Just a chill stream. Um, yeah. Been trying to set this up all day, as a matter of fact, so it's a shame I had some little technical issues in the beginning, but yeah, I'm dead. And a lick. Man, the death scene's gotta come back. That's one thing I actually wanted to talk about, the death scenes coming back. Peroni and DMC, right? I believe so. I believe he is. Just going to take a drink of water real quick. All right, so I'm going to try to just figure this out real quick and see how how well come up with a strategy. And anyone remember when Capcom friend zone Chris and RE5? Yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> That's that's hilarious. Only brutal death in RE6 is the meat grinder in RE5. My RE6 was like weird. RE6 had a weird like rat. That was like the weird era of their engine. Yeah, but Resident Evil Remake is just like the best game ever. Let's face it. Let's face it. It's just Resident Evil Remake is the best. It's one of the best games. 4 is too. I mean, 4 was just one of those games that had the just that appeal and the addiction. But Remake is incredible. Dun dun dun. A, a class a classical type of comic that'd be awesome they got to do some kind of cool shit like that man I, I can't see them doing this whole marketing run without doing anything like that 
So I'm kind of waiting for a collector's edition, but I don't know. I mean, I already have the deluxe, like, pre-ordered. But I'll still get, like, a physical... Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of people want to see Veronica. I'm going to be doing a Silent Hill stream soon as well. On Silent Hill, and then I'm going to bump it in with Code Veronica. I remember Remake wasn't a... Shot for shot remake though, they change a lot. Yeah, that's true. It changed a lot and it was awesome. Me too, man. I, I hope there's a collector's edition. There has to be. There just has to be. They're losing out on so much money if they don't do that, you know? Ah, I had him dodge too. I'm also a big Metal Gear fan, and even I said the Phantom Pain wasn't exactly a Metal Gear game. Deeply express how unfinished it is. I love Phantom Pain too, but yeah, like I, I could see where it was just like not finished at all. God damn it. It's like I already fucked up. Like I gotta I gotta do really good because you got misdirection shit coming up. Man, this is hard. People get like A's and shit. I saw a run on YouTube earlier. I forget the user, but he did this no damage, no weapons, just ran. <laughs> it's like fuck. It's hard. Do you think Alexia and Alfred Ashford were were effing each other? Well, I don't know. It might have been implied by Capcom. That's something they could have done. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, I've been um I've been trucking through. My my voice is still holding up. I have been, you know, sick for over a week. Or just on and off allergies, not really sick, but just I don't know what it, what it's been. It's been rough. Ever since the Resident Evil 2 remake's been announced for the past week, it's just been, like, killing me. Back and forth, and my voice will go. So, like, when I use it more and I stream more, it's harder for me to, like, you know, not sound like I'm dying or coughing. But so far, so good. That's why I was like, yeah, you know what, let me just stream the, the fourth Survivor. Do something cool. Hook up my GameCube, dust it off, plug in my old shit. Do you like RE4? Yes, I do, actually. I really like RE4. It's one of my favorite games, you know? Always will be. Can please high classic and new fans. Well, yeah, I think the balance, the balance should be there, you know? Um, just right away, I think they're keeping the fans, you know, best interest in mind. So with them already bringing the additional content that isn't going to be DLC, that's kind of cool. Oh, come on. I shot. That's cheap. You've cheaped me, you fuckers. Who's had it worse? The RE fan base or the Kingdom Hearts fan base? Uh pfft. I don't know. You have to unlock the hand cannon at RE edition. going to be fun getting high ranks on the... I was talking about streaming that. Because I do have it on the Wii.
What's wrong with the Kingdom Hearts? The lore and games seem fine. You see, I don't know. Yeah, that's a series I don't know. So anybody else who's fans of those games can talk amongst themselves. But I'm not too familiar with Kingdom Hearts. My friends are. So, like, I know of it. I've watched it. I've, I think I've even played some of it at one point. Yeah, didn't really hear too much music. That's why I want them to just and at like at least show the demo so we can like hear it, you know. I don't think either fan base is bad. Fans are passionate. Sometimes fan base gets in the heated debates. Ari fan base isn't as bad as Star Wars fan base. Yeah, in the age of, of the internet... Oh my god, I keep fucking running into these motherfuckers, man. The constant access of bitching, you know? Why not some people are bringing Metal Gear and Silent Hill into it? Well, I'm going to be streaming Silent Hill soon, so that's going to be something new for me. Because we do, you know, survival horror on this channel too. Not just Resident Evil, but survival horror. So that's one of those games that hasn't been attempted, but we're bringing on a guest. It's going to be cool. Adding loot boxes to ST5. Hmm. Alright, now I gotta use the Magnum. On orange caution. Yeah, I'm like dead. Ugh. Anthony, you ever gonna do another call in show? Yeah, I'd love to do one. Yeah, it's always on the list. I love Dead or Alive 5, though, even despite the DLC. <laughs> I just fucking love DOA. But I'm happy 6 is coming out. Yeah, man. It looks great. Hunk and A to get their own chapter. I don't know. That'd be cool if they, imp like, they, it's more, you know, hands-on. So you get to play as them at some point. Did that George Romero script reading ever happen? No, but, but, here's the thing. It's happening. This summer, I'm going to cast the whole script. And we're going to 
get to we're gonna we're gonna figure something out and I'll message everybody but we're gonna do it more we're gonna have uh, more on that soon uh, but yeah we want to make it more like a, a script but everybody that I reached out to I'm gonna essentially just all the ones I actually got submitted are gonna be casted as someone in the script um, just because for their efforts I feel bad that I made people like record all that stuff and read it and it not be used but But yeah, um, yeah, John Jerome, that's going to be a project, man. We're going to have to edit. For a budget? No. Uh, so, so far, we're good. We got John Jerome editing the shows now, so we got the audio sorted out. Uh, the George Romero script reading, though, I, I'd really like to start putting that together and try to put that out for, like, Halloween. But at the same time, you don't want to announce your plans out loud, so... Fucking puppers. Anyone see Vendetta? I haven't seen that one yet. Was it good? Yeah, Vendetta was great. I liked it. I know some people bitched about it, but... Oh. Dead again. <laughs> Maybe we'll get a good run this time. Yo, where's Barry? Jump on the stream real quick. <laughs> if where's Barry's watching, jump on the stream. Well, John, jump on the stream. That'd be great. George would have made a great zom like zombie film. But yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a whole thing. We're going to do it all. I was thinking about hiring uh, Dustin to do something, uh, which is the first time I'm saying something on the stream, but I'll, I'm going to message Dustin personally or talk to him and see if he wants to also help out with getting some of the sound effects and the transitions and stuff for the script. Right, we're going to have people, like I said, play the parts. Fucking diver.
Well, I hope all you guys have fucking Discord if you're trying to jump on. Even though I hate Discord. Alright, so I'm gonna have to find Kyle on Discord and then you guys are jumping on this fucking shit. Hang on one second, and I'll get you guys on here. Yo. All right, we got to get Kyle in here. Kyle, what's your Discord? Just tell me in the chat if you want or message me. Twitter. I don't know my actual like name on here. It's that's something. I'm gonna or if you can add him in here I don't fucking know <laughs> I'm just gonna keep playing and we'll figure it out and I'll keep dying so and that
Yeah, I don't think your Discord is coming through the stream. Because all I hear is you. So when we get on there, you won't be able to hear us. All right, there we go. Hello. Yes, this is live. I'm just Absolutely. waiting to get the username because Discord is Discord. He said he tweeted it to you. Yeah, but that's not like a username. Like whatever you gave me is not a username. I can't like put that in, so I'm going to have to figure this out. Well, let me see. I love the GameCube. What's going on, everyone in the chat? Thank you for for being here, <laughs> watching me attempt for Survivor and over and over again, just for fun. Discord names have four digits as well. They do. Yes, it's like his name hashtag whatever four digits he has. Yeah. So. Okay. Whatever he sent you, he's got to send you his four digits as well. All right. Keep reading the chat while I do yep. this. I'll be right back. I'll add him in if you want. Uh, can you? That'd be great. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Kyle, just put your Discord in the... Uh, just tweet me your Discord. It's got four numbers in it. There we go. I was able to dodge him. Dead Rising was awesome, man. Play the first and second one. Gotta say, first one is the best. Yeah, first one definitely is the best. It's got a very uh, nostalgia feel to it. It's great. You put it in the chat. Yeah, I'm on it. Alright, awesome. Is Dino Crisis on for Sunday? Uh, we should be good. Once I dodge these fucking dogs. The best version of RE. I like the GameCube. It's it's cool. It loads quick. The, the control feels nice. I still like the Dreamcast though. Yeah. Dreamcast is best. Alright, Kyle, accept the friend request. Perfect. You've got Jill and everything. Look at that. Boom. We got it. Boom. Alright. And then he should be able to jump in. 
Dark. As long as he has accepting the invite. Yep, and then just click on the general channel, Kyle. Right where our two names are on the left. If you click on that word general, it'll pop you in here. First game is better character story and memorable bosses. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, I think there's gonna be a different uh, way they're gonna approach five if they make one. Hopefully, it's not the same developers as four, but we'll see. Yeah, GameCube models do look smooth. Yeah, it's it's very much like the Dreamcast one. Except the contrast is a little bit different. All right, I'm probably gonna try to take out these fucking liquors. Recently, be evil within two. Got the brass knuckles now. I'm playing as well. I still gotta beat that. I still gotta go back and beat that. I like Evil Within too. That was a lot of good one. It's a very good uh, sequel. Poison me. Poison! We never made it this far, though, so, you know, it's something. Oh, man. They fuck you up so quick. Oh, my God, that's crazy. As soon as you go through the door, they fucking kill you. <laughs> that's amazing. You died. Uncensored. What's killing you? Oh, the plants enter in the hallway room. Oh, yeah. They do a lot of damage. Oh yeah, January 5th. Thanks for the $2, Reese. What attempt number is this? I don't even know. I'm just I'm just winging it. <clears throat> yeah. It's hard though, you know. Just oh yeah, to, it's definitely not, hard. Like 90% of YouTubers probably don't even have this mode unlocked. I must say cheated. But you got to play you got to get an air rank, man. You got to play it a lot. Yeah. People gotta know what the fuck they're doing. Classic is by far the hardest. <clears throat> and you have to beat the game. It's amazing. 
Oh, you go within? Yeah. I gotta get back on it. I, uh, I was streaming it, so I might continue to stream it, or I might just... I don't know. I'll find... I'll figure it out. Kind of Rising DLC is my favorite. Oh, the, uh, what, the mall? Um, Case West. We, I stream that, too. I stream Case West. It's all in the, it's all in the playlist in the archives. It's all there. Nope. Yeah, Dead Rising 3 is another one that we're going to be, me and Dave will be streaming as well. Be added to our line of content. Juan asks if we already pre-ordered the Resident Evil 2 remake, and the answer is yes. I have pre-ordered three copies now. Unfortunately. <laughs> Got that $15. If you try to do the Deluxe Edition with Gamers Club, it doesn't work. Uh, yeah, it won't work until you uh, pick it up. Or maybe it's not a maybe it's not available for any SKU generated past the cutoff date, but I don't know. Yeah, I'll just do it from Amazon then. Yeah. Yeah, alright, I'm just gonna reset that. That's bad. I gotta stop getting nailed by the dogs. Yep. Ah, <sighs> fuck. Just popping in for a minute because I do have to be somewhere at nine, so I do have to go. Okay. But just wanted to see uh, how the stream was going and say hi to everybody. I appreciate that, yeah. Yep. Definitely got an up uptick in likes. Good shit. Gotta love those likes, man. Did you work today? Uh, sales professional. Was gone all day. Willow Grove. I woke up at 6 a.m. Uh... Got there, I left here at like 8 a.m. I left Best Buy at 8 a.m., got there at like 9.30, and then I was there until like 6 o'clock. So, that kind of blowed. But it was really cool. I enjoyed it. Yeah, it's like that's your day, but you know. Yeah. I work tomorrow. I don't. I'm off. Lucky motherfucker. <laughs> I'm cool with it, though. Alright. Oh, of course, you get poisoned. Yuck. Yuck. Got poisoned. Fucking spiders. Alright. There we go. Dead Space 2 on Harper? Yeah, Dead Space is another one that I'm, I'm doing. I did a Let's Play on it back then. I could do those and like, oh, these fucking dogs! Again! Ugh, oh, gotta reset. Um, I could do Dead Space 2 in a more like Let's Play format. It depends. Is it Let's Play format? I mean, it's, it is kind of, it's basically dead. But, it just depends on what people want to see. Doing stuff in post-production is perfectly fine. I've, I've done it for years. Be like nothing editing that. I... I always get fucked with these dogs, man. I'm gonna reset. I don't like that. I don't like using up all my healing that quick. Yeah. Dogs be a bitch. Juan said, I love that Leon looks like he's 18 years old, very young, and he really looks like he's scared. You could feel the full effect. Yeah, you could feel they put effort into it. Yeah, they're trying to work work the RE engine, baby. Work yeah, it. looks great. However, it's not running in 60 frames in 4K. No? No. Hmm. 30 frames... And if you run it in 1080, you get 60. <clears throat> well, let me. Uh... Well, if you have like a Sony TV, your your motion will look a lot. You know, make it look like 60 frames. If anything. Yeah, it'll make it look good. But still, it's still like ridiculous. Yeah, I guess I just didn't have the time. 
to be, invest be an all the resources or something. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. All right. Well, with that, I gotta get out of here. All right, man. Thanks for stopping yep. in. Enjoy, buddy. Thanks, man. Peace out. Peace. Have a good night, everybody. Me too. Whew. All right. Dun 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 dun. Try to get fucking poisoned. I think we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it pretty. Do it pretty solid. These fucking dogs. Run. Fucking run. Run. Yes. Did it. Do you, think Leon, do you think Leon was already in the city? I don't know. I heard something about him being, like, called in. Ah, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. God damn it. I was doing so fucking well. I got... I got messed up at, like, the wrong time. Yo, where's Barry? Yo, where's Barry? Are you trying to jump on Discord, man? <laughs> jump on the show, man. Simultaneously. Just appear. Come on. Let's vote for where's Barry coming on coming on the chat. We do it. We do it. Alright, I better go. Good luck. Force Fiber Hands Rough, man. Honk must be a ninja. Probably the most skilled character in the series to be able to get through this. Well, thank you, man. <clears throat> I appreciate it. What's your name? I missed the whole first part of the Whitey Bobby Come. Well, that wasn't Whitey Bobby. That was John. But uh, Kyle can still come in. Kyle has the code, so Kyle, you can come in when you want. What's happening? Uh, it's uh, Fourth Survivor. That's what's happening right now. Here, I'll, I'll get, uh... Where's Barry? I'll send you a Twitter message with my name, man, alright? And then you can hop in. Hang on one second. We'll get Where's Barry in here, and then possibly Why'd You Bite Me? Coming up.
All right, so I'm just waiting to get back on to see what the uh, what the Discord is, and then once I get it, we'll add it in there. Start YouTube channel. I need money for a capture card and things like that. They're rough right now. I have a side job. Also doing the stand with dad at the moment. Yeah, I think like a lot of times when when like like when I started, it was just like the timing was was right. But at the same time, there's a lot of like transitional periods between when I started, even with the system that is YouTube. You know, so much changed, and it's so different now. And you know, I've always been constantly. Uh, grinding and trying to figure out, you know, the best way of, you know, going about um, where I'm gonna, you know, take the take the content. Um, but I've been doing it for eight years, so thankfully I've had I've learned the skill level and I've been bettered myself, you know, in the future. But uh, it's just harder now more than ever. But being consistent and just doing it, you know. Yeah, this is on my GameCube. I don't know, I think we got a Discord name. Hello? Hello, YouTube. How's everybody doing? Hello. Hello. Yeah, what's up? All right, so we're on here. We got, uh, where's Barry coming in too? But we got Kyle on here now. What's going on, man? Oh my God, I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> I've, I've been watching your videos for 20 years. 10, 10 15 years. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to die right now, actually. I'm just going to let it happen, yeah. Yeah, this is rough, man. They're like, this, this four survivor business is, uh, I mean, I'm kind of just doing this for fun anyway, but it's still really difficult. I haven't played through this in years. But uh, is everything coming through clear, guys, on the chat? I think the audio should be fine. Oh, yeah. By the way, this is Whitey Bite Me. And I've yeah. never played this mode. <laughs> yeah, this is Whitey Bite Me on YouTube. You've been doing your, your, uh, your content uh, comeback overload, right? Mm -hmm. You've been gone for a little bit. Well, you were you were gone for a few months, right? And then you came back. Uh, I think it was about 
three months. Yeah, I want to say about three. And it was a lot of problems with me and then the community, but I'm getting over that stuff. Yeah, it's it's good to it's good to let go. Yeah, it really is. Like it's not that serious. Like people have their own opinions and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh it's it, now now more than ever when when there's a spike in the in the community again with the recent news, so. Mhm. Mm but uh yeah, hopefully we get get something good out of this next run of Resident Evil, and then we'll see what happens. But uh, did you enjoy the episode with Richard? Did you enjoy the show? Oh, yeah, I didn't finish it yet. I think I'm about halfway, so I'll finish that tonight. I appreciate that. Yeah, the new show is out uh, for anybody that's watching this. It is on Libsyn, iTunes, and all that stuff, so people have been enjoying that. Me and Richard got back together to do that. And then I got you know a special one coming up as well. I talked to you about that as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, gonna be uh, figuring figuring it out schedule wise, but it will get done, and it'll be it'll be all good. So we got a new editor, uh, John Jerome, for the for the show. So he'll be editing the audio and making it sound awesome. Yeah, that podcast did sound really good, and I like your new style that you're doing with like the um it's like the game audio preview and then it goes into the yeah. podcast yeah i appreciate that yeah i always try to add like segments or trailers you know if you notice in the past i always like doing that so what i'm gonna do is i'm because i'm you know essentially hiring him to do it so i'm gonna be giving him however much he wants for it but and uh you know i'm gonna have him line up audio cues and stuff and you know, yeah it'll be cool like, be i like cool thing. your new style that's uh -oh. the game audio preview uh oh i hear i hear uh, an echo who, who is that is that who i think it is is this the man the man where's barry is this is this he's back oh, he muted himself <laughs> <laughs> but i'm listening to the i was listening to the podcast the thing with fixed camera angles like i know i, I sound kind of hard come on man what the video. fuck dude no oh, i see that <laughs> I, you just wanted to bring it up. Hard. You're like, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna bring it up now. No, no, I'm kidding. I'm just fucking. No, I know. <laughs> like, I like fix. Like, I'm, I'm looking at freaking. I'm playing <laughs> a Resident Evil remake, and it's like it's so beautiful. And I wish it wasn't such a risk. You know, Perry like, said the know. same thing that that you said. He's like, mm -hmm. oh, now I want them to go back and remake one like this. That's what he said. Yeah, That's yeah, what I he want said, that too. word for word. You know. So that is, uh, you know, that's a, that's the thing people have been saying, and and again, I, I I get it, you know, but remake, it's amazing. Yeah, remake is amazing. Like it's, just, it's so beautiful. It's just something about that game uh, that's you know timeless, and um, that's one of those that's one of those games probably right next to like three where it's like. If you could play one Resident Evil game for the rest of your life, which one would it be? That would be like the contender. Yes, it, I'm really torn like between. Really dark and just like it just doesn't give a fuck. And I don't know. Yeah. I, I hope that the new ones like it that too, because it looks really like in your face and it doesn't care. Can you guys read bad comments? We <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. I'm I'm putting together a video. The Resident yeah, Evil the Resident Evil community will be involved in this video. R2 remake seems very personal. Like everything's just in your face, and and the zombies are like terrifying. They look so terrifying, and it's so dark and eerie, and like the environment is like threatening. It doesn't even have to be a zombie there, and I'm just scared. I'm just looking at the environment. Yeah, yeah. And I want them. I would love for them to just go back and do the first Resident Evil again, just like two remake with a stronger narrative and have like a definitive ending because you don't there's no real ending in the first game you kind of have to like overlap jill and chris of overlap their stories and try to figure out what's right and what's not right and like you know the whole barry and rebecca thing like yeah yeah it's all just it is what it is it's like you, you know you come to accept those things mm -hmm. after like a period of time you know the two remake is so it's so different. 
but I don't know. It's just so it's it's real. It's like um, a George Romero film. It reminds me of like an old zombie film. Yeah, I want to see if I get any like Dawn of the Dead vibes or Day of the Dead vibes. You know, something like that. That'd be really mm-hmm. cool. Um, just because, like, you know, I feel like if you don't pay homage to him, man, like, you're just, I don't know, that it would what just be a want? pain in the ass. Because it's like, you, you, that guy barely got credit for Night Living Dead because he didn't put a copyright on the fucking things. And he <laughs> didn't, made, didn't make that much money, you know, from it, as much people think. Like, anybody can release that film It's because it's public domain. And it's just like, that's why I don't understand why he got fired from the project of that was, like, the movies. Because, I don't know, man. Thought it would have been pretty fucking cool. Oh, for him to do the Artie movies? Yeah. That's why I want to do that script reading. I want to, I want to like, do it, like, but act it out. Like, like put, like, narration in and, like, make it, like, a whole fucking audiobook. I would like to try that, but my script reading isn't the best. <laughs> Let me see. Well, I mean... I, I really I'm gonna cast like certain parts. I mean it depends on if people people gotta you know they're gonna wanna have to do it. It's a lot of work. It's a project. I don't even think it's gonna be out by this year. I mean I say Halloween, but like I doubt it. I think it's just gonna be whenever it's done. Yeah, I look forward to it. Wasn't Chris like Mexican, Mexican or like? I don't think he was Mexican. I think he was a black. farmer. He was a farmer. I don't think. Was... <laughs> I mean he's in PA, you know Pennsylvania. Oh. Uh-huh. Wasn't somebody black like Barry? I can't remember. I know they changed the races of like a lot of the characters. Well, George Romero was known for having different races in his cast. It's interesting. Uh, because he liked he liked making certain social commentaries about uh, certain things, um, and obviously Night of the Living Dead being one of them, um, with the black you know lead role and everything mm-hmm. and uh but it, he always did a good job doing that so that was always cool but i don't know just something different and i think now they're you know not doing too much with the, the whole film side of things because they're just like well fuck it you know we're not gonna i don't get killed by mr x <laughs> actually yeah i'm able to well he can't catch you oh he walks so slow I'm on fucking danger, man. It's crazy. Yeah, I don't know if I can play those. I cannot <laughs> play the fourth <laughs> this is, survivor. This is hard, man. I played the, the Wii version. That's this, it. The, you know, this is just fun. Where's Barry? Where are you at, man? You gotta be. I, I sent you the Discord. Hang on. Can you hear oh. me now? Yeah, I can hear you. What's Yo, up, what's man? up? What's up? What's up, man? Welcome back, and I'm dead. I get to talk with. Where's Barry? Where's Barry is joining us right now. What's going on, man? How you been? Uh, I hadn't touched a controller in seven months. So yeah, what'd you know? <laughs> Where has I just, Barry been? <laughs> I just uh, was playing Evil Within 2, and I just looked at the screen, and I just said, I can't play video games anymore. And I needed a short break, and it turned into seven months. Hmm. Been like, Hibernation. I, I, have to, I have to hibernate. I have to look away from this screen. <laughs> Well, that's, I mean, hey, you know, it's its a good time to, to be back uh, with the spike in the community and um, all the all the stuff going on about Resident Evil 2. It's, it's pretty exciting, you know. It's, I'm sure it's got you excited. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to the remake. It's not as fun for me as Resident Evil 7 was because we kind of have an idea, at least some of the things that are going to be in the remake. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there's not mm-hmm. as much theory involved as before. That was the fun part. Yeah, I, I hear what you're saying. Because it was all like new characters and setting up different stories, like it was like a whole thing. It it was it was lead it was making like room for that discussion. Now mm-hmm. the only thing it really the discussion now is just like, well, fixed camera angles or over the shoulder camera angles or this, yeah. this thing. it's like until we get anything else. You know, so that's why um you know, but I, I like getting different opinions on the the remake. That's why I'm gonna you know, I'll talk to JJ and stuff. We'll get him on, and we'll be able to. Um, I like talking to different people about different perspectives, and uh, I'm gonna do like a whole community-based podcast about that because that'll be really cool. Uh, that was my pitch to a lot of people out there: is like breaking it down into certain segments. 
because I think everybody has something different to say about the old and the new, and I, I always find that very fascinating. That's always been a good conversation starter, is like how many people started with 4, how many people started with the original, and uh, it's always you know very fascinating to, to kind of hear the, the different stories and what people have connected to the games. So with 2, because two, you, know, you can't talk about the remake without talking about the old games. So I think it's just part of the the ongoing discussion and then we got to get a fucking demo already I, I, there needs to be a demo there has to be something apparently you have to pay for the demo they probably did that at e3 they're, they're doing it in the uk so we probably won't have it for a while you had to pay for the demo at e3 i don't know maybe because in the uk you have to buy a ticket to play the demo know. yeah i think it was a free ticket but you had to go on their site and sign you know sign up and be one of the first ones Plus, like, but at the point you're going to E3, you're already spending like two, three grand, you know, mm -hmm. in general. And it's like at that point, I'd be like, yeah, fuck it, I'll get the ticket. <laughs> like, put it in, <laughs> you know. Just like, the, yeah, have access. The to machines the were also timed for 20 minutes. Yeah, it's so a 20 like... minute demo. Apparently, that's what I've heard, is that there's going to be a, like a, you know, a package file that's out there that somebody has, but they're going into the demo and like trying to figure out how to make it like turn off the timer you know because there's this custom firmware now with these ps4s and they can they can do all this crazy shit so what if well like yeah the uh some the big like million subscriber youtubers that got to play it they got they didn't have a timer on there so they got to play as much okay. as they wanted for got it yeah I, oh wow yeah so like uh maximilian dude is one of the guys that played it for about 40 minutes he has a, he has a good video up um of the demo but most people uh, didn't figure out a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah. But com combined, watching like 10 different people play it, I think I've pretty much got the demo solved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's not much. Bo yeah, that's the thing. It's like th they'll probably release it maybe after Tokyo Game Show or something. But, you know, at the same time, it's the still, it's still, you know, there's side packs. There's, there's this, there's that. I think we've all at least seen how the the at least the demo is structured as far as a game standpoint i'm just happy that we actually saw you know more gameplay than just what mm. we saw in that trailer Stars. Oh, so thanks for this subscription oh, do you know about do you know about diffusers you can turn the lights on in rpd yeah i i, I saw that uh that's that's very interesting it, it seemed... and the typewriters typewriters Ink ribbons. You don't, you don't use ink ribbons for me. Right there and just save. I think they're going to have um, a hard mode with yeah. ink ribbons yeah, like as Mad, well. Like Madhouse. For, for, for sure. Yeah, like Madhouse. But there's also, in the demo at least, uh, there's auto saves as well. And I watched something in Japanese where the producers were yeah. talking Japanese, but I heard them say auto save. <laughs> I saw that too, yeah. It, it, was very, it was very hard to like figure it out at first. I was like, is he saying we can save with, with the ink ribbon? Like, I was so thrown off. Uh, but yeah, I, I kind of caught when he said that, and I was like, "All right, well, you know, just hope there's a mode that solves that and has it in there, and uh, you know, it'll satisfy the old and the new, because that's really what they're going for is just satisfying both both sides of the spectrum. People that have gotten into seven are going to go into, you know, this game that might have not played the originals. So, you know, that's why it's going to be the way that it is." Mm -hmm. Waiting for this collector's edition, though. Yeah, please have one of those. Please. I have a lot of friends who haven't played Resident Evil 2 at all, and they're very excited to play this game. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of positive things being said, as opposed to the seven when that was a thing, you know. The seven is so weird. It's so like it's. I think me personally, I think it's a good game, but it feels pretty irrelevant. Like. You don't have to play that game at all. You don't miss anything. Yeah, they're not really pushing for, you know, if they, like I said, if they do continue it and it does, you know, what it needs to do, I don't know. I guess we'll see. It's I... just isolated. That's what I, I like that part about it. Yeah, see, that, that that's where I guess people, you know, will differ is that they like that it's its own thing. Mm -hmm. And then there's people that, to say whatever, take it or leave it. But you know, it's still uh it's still good to play it and see what they wanted to do initially. How they tried. 
You know, I mean, the DLC, I didn't think the DLC was very good, though. I did not uh, like that. I, Zoe, that was so I did, not, I did not care for Not a Hero either. <laughs> didn't care for it. That was just like, I don't, to me, that was just like, what are you doing with Chris Redfield? I haven't played it yet, by the way. <laughs> oh, man. I was going to ask you. I was like, what do you think about this? <laughs> do you have any thought? No, well, uh, you know. The fact that I, I couldn't play it, you know, and because, I mean, like, I couldn't play it, like, um, you know, right when it was supposed to come out, and that I waited for so long for that, uh, I don't know, man. It's To me, it's not worth it. But you know what? You can check it. I'm sure you can get, like, the DLC by itself probably for, like, 10 bucks or something like that. Hopefully it's not too expensive, but. Yeah, that game's going to be, uh, it's 25 bucks now. It's gonna be like fifteen bucks uh, in a couple months, I'm sure. Oh yeah, it's. I think it's actually part of uh, PlayStation's Platinum Hits line. Oh, that's pretty cool. So the Platinum Hits is 19.99. It was. So I was just talking to my friend the other day, and we're like, I haven't seen a Platinum Hits yet at PS4, and they've just fucking announced it. And uh, Last of Us is on there. I th I think Resident Evil Seven is on there. I'm not sure. Probably not. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just thinking of Gold Edition just dropped in price, but it's about time it did. It's been I mean it's, it's been long seven. enough, you know. Mm hmm So it's I mean seven. but I, I think I think there's a uh, you know, there's gonna be some kind of uh some reaction from people that, that want this and then want it to be a whole trilogy, like get three and, and I'm I'm totally down for that. Yeah, me too, for real. <laughs> it's gotta do three, please. Just do it, man. Do it. it you're, it's Please. there, man. I don't want DLC. I want the full thing. Give me the full thing. It's it's all there, you know? What do you guys think about that? You want to see 3? Hell yeah, I want 3 to be its own game. People are saying they want it as like a DLC to 2. I don't want that because 3 is like its own thing. 3, and needs, three, three is the... <laughs> three is it's the, a pretty uh, the, long game. It's the, it's the finale to the trilogy. It's the nail in the coffin to yeah. Raccoon City. You know, it's, it's it deserves to have as much attention as two and like i know people are like well she's kind of in the rpd station so what does it matter i saw a comment today like that and i was like you know what i gotta use this one but uh i was like yeah the, no it, it it's more to that it's it's uh the the journey to the clock tower the you know jill getting infected by the t-virus like all these different things and uh, Carlos going to the hospital is probably, you know, yeah, maybe you don't really need that. But at the same time, mm -hmm. people want people want to experience that. So, um, yeah, your guys' thoughts on Resident Evil 3 possibly being remade. I mean, Rich, Richard thinks so, too. He said It's he's a like, big thing, so it's big. So why make it a DLC? I think it's pretty important. Yeah, and I would like, like it to have its own game and just, you know, modernize Jill, like what they're doing with, I don't know, Claire is kind of, I'm indifferent about Claire in 2 Remake. Yeah, a little bit. I wonder how they'll do Jill. I mean, of course, they're probably 100% actually. They're, they're not going gonna... to get rid of the tube top. Yeah, they're not going to give her the skirt. <laughs> yeah, they're, <laughs> they're going to get rid of that. They're going to make it a costume, but they're not going to... Maybe they won't make it a costume because, like, just I don't know. Maybe they won't. But if they if they don't, that's that's bullshit. At least make it like you got to pay for it. Mhm. Mm I call give it. Or the have damn, it like an give unlock. me the damn tube top. God damn it. Yeah. Have it like an unlock. Call it like classic Jill or something. Yeah. Give her the stars outfit. Give her Regina. Give her yeah. Give her Regina and just be like, yeah, this is what Dino Crisis would look like. But we're not gonna. Do it. <laughs> I think people want to see it uh, as a DLC just because they want it now. Like that's true. Wait that's true. That. Yeah, that's a really good point. No, don't water my Resident Evil Three down. For yeah, a DLC. It, it, might, it should be like a, a, a like a full scale, you know. Yeah. Game with mercenaries and and you know. Operation Mad Jackal, all of that stuff. I want my new nemesis, my new shriveled ball sack looking dude chasing me around <laughs> with a rocket launcher and then my Jill with her tube top. No, they're not going to do They're probably going to do something like she's going to wear. Maybe she'll wear like some jeans and like I feel a like blouse. They'll give her like a, I feel like they'll give her like a jacket or something. I don't know. They're trying to make it more like real believable contemporary like, like, so, like i don't know something that someone would wear in the resident evil 7 engine or re engine you know like, yeah something like that like you she's gonna wear something she's gonna wear something practical oh, these liquors get me every time god damn it 
The Lakers are not liking. Oh, it's more about the chat right now than uh, me constantly failing. But you know, I should have had a number of just like how many times I'm failing. But it's fine. It's just for fun. I keep saying yeah, modern. That. Yeah, modernize her for the '90s. Or that's what contemporary contemporary means. Like she's in the '90s, so she's going to be um, she's going to look more present and not be like Resident Evil back in the day. They kind of did their own style. I mean, I guess they the outfits were their own interpretation of Western appeal, apparel, or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it looks kind of strange. So they're doing something more real now. So if they modernize Jill for like the 90s, of course, she's going to wear something more practical, more yeah. believable. What was she doing? I don't even remember. What was she doing before the game started in Resident Evil 3 that she had that outfit on? Like she, she picked she that outfit to fight? I don't know. She was just escaping was her. She was escaping her apartment that was on fire. Yeah, she was just chilling in her apartment, <laughs> wearing like this thottery. <laughs> and then I guess that's just what happened, you know. And she's like, "Well, I guess this is what what I'm wearing." Or the Japanese <laughs> were just like, "Ho ho, yes, let's do it." And then they yeah, did let's it. Do it. They gave no, her the, they, gave, they gave him the outfits, man. They, I mean, it's different now, but I mean, I still what I noticed. One thing that I noticed about like the new DOA, for example, is that it's less like fan service yeah like and it's less like they're less like busty like they're not like oh like this is flat like flat. like they're trying to make it more like modern and so i don't know maybe it's something that's going on with the the japanese designers right now it's like a new phase or something where they're they're starting to make the the art direction a little bit different and you can tell that it's different in this one because again it's the re engine so it's completely different devil may cry as well Devil May Cry looks awesome. Yeah, it looks great. I only played the first one. Uh, I never got into the other games, but maybe I should if anyone has recommendations of where I should start on that. God, I'm not... Yeah, I'm not really good there. That's not my department. <laughs> I mean, because it used to be Resident Evil 4, so... Yeah. But the, the order of DMC is so weird. I think um, I think the order is DMC, then DMC three, and then no, it's so weird. They the story there, the lore is kind of like messed up. Well, because there's that weird reboot, right? Like in the middle, it's just called DMC. No, not that. No, that one doesn't count. But it's something like D. I think DMC two is the first one. Is the actual is the first one, and then it's DMC three, and then two. No, DM. I don't know. You have to look it up. It's weird. Because <laughs> I remember I think, getting the demo on the PS2. I think it's two or three. Yeah, number the number, number three. three people are saying in the chat. Three is the first one. <clears throat> so three is one? So Yeah, it's what? weird. It's really weird. I never caught <laughs> on to that. Well, four was for the 360, right? Uh, Yeah. I'm not too sure what Joe was doing before Resident Evil 3. What do you guys think about uh, Silent Hill? I've never played Silent Hill. I'm gonna I uh, I liked Resident Evil so much, and when Silent Hill came out, it just was a little different. And just running through that fog when I was a kid, it just got really bored, and I stopped playing it immediately. And I never picked it up again till like maybe two years ago. But now I kind of like the first two at least. Yeah, I've uh, I've never attempted to fully beat the first one if i did it was a long time ago uh and i played two but i am going to be streaming the first one really soon so uh that's going to be different for the channel uh it really hurts your head because there's like a regular world and there's like an upside down world and so like you memorize what the hospital is or whatever and then you're in the upside down world and it's a different hospital but it looks Christ. the same it's weird yeah, that already sounds mind-boggling. I mean, the so the guy the the guy that's coming on the show, uh, well, not the show, but the stream when we do it, he's already a Silent Hill fan, so he he's kind of like watching me experience it for the first time. He knows what's coming, and I don't, so like he's gonna try to fucking explain at least something to me and be like, all right, what the fuck is going on? Because I'm gonna be so like <coughs> like dazed and confused, you know? That's just like, especially. Because I know, like, after Team Silent left, like, I know the whole story behind, every, like, every game. I just haven't played that much. Uh, and I know about Tom Hewlett and that era and Silent Hill Homecoming. I did play Homecoming. 
I did play Homecoming, uh, but, um, you know, at the same time, uh, that wasn't even, like, uh, you know, a highly praised game either. That, that or Downpour. Oh, these liquors are fucking me up. I think the Are you fighting liquors or spiders? I'm fighting liquors now, but there may be a delay in whatever. Uh, uh, okay. Twitch, there's less of a delay, so whatever one people prefer. What could you do on Resident Evil 2, like, for videos? I can't think of anything. Like, they gave you everything. For now. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> there's everything I did for Resident Evil 7. I'm... People are going to be like, oh, is Wesker going to show up? Like, that's you just have, that's a, you have to do a video. Oh, uh, boy. Yeah. It's just a lot of repeats. Like, at least to Trevor, what happened to her after? Maybe she's, you know, sneaking around somewhere. Oh, man. Yeah, have fun with that. Cause... <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I haven't even done those yet. I, and it's going to be a long seven months. We'll, hopefully they pop up with some new uh, new information and stuff. Yeah, that's why I think oh, I, I think I like like in the meantime, like just trying to hear different people discuss about it and having different people on, like talking with you guys and stuff. Like, that's what's entertainment right now. That's what you know we're trying to really get into the mindset of how what everyone else is thinking, and you know, wait until uh, we can talk more about it once we get that like information, you know, going. No, but for real, make those videos because, like, most of the Resident Evil fan base, they don't know a lot about the lore, so they'll eat that up. Yeah, there's, yeah, there, there, there's that's the thing. It's, it's, uh, it's not because now with people that got into seven, like, people that maybe got introduced to the series, so it's a whole new, like, world of people on YouTube and Twitch through streaming. And, uh, when I play these older games, like, a lot of people have never seen them before. So it's uh, it, it's just the way it is. It's just the way oh, it is. You know? So, but it's cool though because it's it, it, you know you get to expand people that might have gotten into it a seven, and they go back and they check out the other the other stuff, you know. So, but they also have obviously different opinions. They're not going to be, you know, close to what you know you might think about a certain gameplay type or camera style. But it's still kind of cool to have that. But we've gotten to that point where it gets to that many generation of fans because as it gets older it's just you know it's just more uh more more generations passed down so to speak so i guess we'll see but i want my uh can you they please remake uh resident evil survivor uh please <laughs> oh i haven't game yet i have it it's just sitting there collecting dust i don't i don't feel like <laughs> I didn't. Messing I didn't realize that. that that game is rare now, or not rare, but it's more expensive. It's like thirty-five, forty dollars, like complete. Oh my god! Yeah, I got it for like ten bucks. Yeah, it's it. Like I, I saw some listings for it the other day. I was like, whoa, that's that's Holy strange. Crap. But uh, you know, it depends. It, like, same thing. Just the cartridge of Gaiden is like fifty dollars, and I got that for ten dollars at a Babbage's or something like that. Those oh, that's crazy. Cool. And that's not complete. Like, I'm talking, like, 50 just for the cart. <laughs> yeah, no box. Wow. The box is, like, $200. Forget it. Oh, my. For that game, that ear-bleeding music? <laughs> it's actually a really, like... It's actually... What the hell? It's actually oh, the game's fun. Really interesting, uh, like, take on Resident Evil. It's the only Resident Evil game to ever be rated T. Yeah. And I think it's pretty fun. But that music... Uh... Jake Boy said, "How bad are the liquors going to be in the remake? I'm sure they're going to be fucking intimidating, for sure." I, I could have sworn I heard somebody on the stream say that the liquors transform in Resident Evil 2 remake. They change forms. Interesting. I have to go and find that again and show you. Uh, where's the footage of that? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll I, I must have missed that. that <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I'll, I'll track that down. Yeah, gonna have to get some uh, resources there. Well, there weren't yes. there. Like different types of liquors in the game in the original game, like they were harder there's later two. in the game. Yeah, there's yeah. the wild liquor, and then there's the experimental liquor. But they the never liquor, tra the they never one. transform like, at least like on screen, unless that's what they're doing. Or maybe what they're saying is that they actually show zombies turn into liquors in this game. Maybe 
Maybe. Um, oh, oh, is it talking about well, maybe, I don't know, when it's killing that one guy in the trailer? I don't know, because then it's just he's just killing him. I, don't, I didn't see any, like, transformation in that split, like, second but of it, it going black, you know? It would be cool if they did do that, though, because Crimson Heads and Liquors, like, there's this fan theory that Crimson Heads turn into Liquors and vice versa or whatever. But sounds the... Like, um, sounds like a theory. <laughs> <laughs> the virus that was used in the mansion was it was taken to raccoon city and it was modified by birkin yes and that same strain was leaked into raccoon city so that's a different vx strain okay. so when the zombies died they don't become crimsons instead now they become liquors because the strain was modified so maybe in two remake they'll show zombies turn into liquors maybe they'll show it maybe maybe not but that would be cool. And maybe okay. add some more fouls on liquor so people aren't confused because the only way you can know learn about this is if you read the archives. Well, yeah, I was playing uh, the original game uh, yesterday and I found a note. I'm sure you guys probably already know the note, but that one of the dead cops, like he just named it a liquor. Like, yeah, when, yeah, I didn't like it. That wasn't the official name from like Umbrella or anything. It was just a cop saw it and called it a liquor. Yeah, because I, I never knew that. That's kind of cool because it, it, it kind of brings it back to like the, the Romero of like the characters just giving them names just because like in the moment, you know, like that, like, li like someone gave it a name. That's when, you know, like you, you shouldn't fuck with it because it, it has its own name to, that sticks out from just like the normal everyday zombie. I always like stuff like that. It's cool, and I hope again, like with the lore and the files, they may do something that's uh, similar, or they may do something that's completely different. I guess we'll see. Uh, with you know, adding different elements of the story, and people want to see the Lisa Trevor thing. What's going on, Raiden, in the chat? Uh, what would they do with Lisa Trevor, though? Oh no, not do anything with Lisa Trevor. I'm saying do stuff like that. Oh. Yeah, like not do anything with her. Now. Yeah, because she's D D E D. Yeah. Big time. Bye bye. She got nuked. <laughs> yeah. There's no way she live in that. I hate these fucking plants. Like Or what if um because you know in the, the reveal trailer, you see Mr. X get shanked by I think it's Birkin or it could be a liquor, but I'm pretty sure I it's Birkin. I think it's Birkin, yeah. Yeah. So what if they're what if in remake they're using because there was more than one tyrant that was deployed into Raccoon City, so what if they're showing those other units? So there are some tyrants that died to Birkin, and then you still have the Mister X. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, I guess we'll that see. That would be cool. Birkin's killing killing the other tyrants. <laughs> it's so funny. Someone went back on the old podcast. It was one of the first episodes that JJ was on, and, and we predicted that tyrant was going to have a hat. And we were just like, yeah, like, ever bring tyrant back? Like, give him, give him a little hat. Give him a little trench coat. Like, Richard was like, give him a little hat, the top hat. And I was like, fuck. Like, it we did it. Like, so, so much. Same thing with, like, Resident Evil being first person. Like, that was something that was literally said, you know, right after six. So it's just funny, like those little conversations come up, and mm -hmm. you know that. But um, I don't know. I and some people, a lot of people, many have been being like, they're like, please bring back Code Veronica, please bring it back. What do you guys think about that? Code Veronica remake? Hell yeah! They're just bringing it back in some way. I don't know. How, you know. Why not remake Code Veronica? Because the I think that's the, I, I think care. that's the first one that. <laughs> That kind of looks um, pretty good on the on PlayStation like next generation. So I really want them to do three before they do that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Do yeah, three, please, please. But I really want to see them do every single. Imagine Resident they just Evil, skip like, three. Two. They're just assholes. Yeah, like, eh, fuck it. Like, they fuck just... you, Capcom. <laughs> they skip I want them to. Do, I want them to do one, two, and three as one game, just Resident Evil Mega, and just have it all the same controls and same items and everything. Yeah. A lot of people want that, man. A lot of people. We'll see, man. Because, cause like, and, and you know, like that's just what Richard said on the show. He's like, you know, you're doing, you did one, you're doing two. It's going to be successful. You got to do three. You know, at least, mm -hmm. like, put out eight and then do three. Or just put out three and then put out eight. What's up, Bryden? No. Oh, my God. 
or you know All they right, said they're reimagining too so they're gonna probably change up the lore again a, a little bit it might change up a lot of stuff they might they, they are that like they are there's gonna be two different <laughs> like things that are considered whatever people consider canon is not what we know anymore mm -hmm. it's completely so, like it's just a re it's not erasing history it's still yeah. there and, and it's not gone but again, you get the you get the option to play the remake. It's just it's there. It's by itself. It's whatever. The original trilogy will always be the original trilogy, no matter fucking what. And nothing yeah. will ever change that. And they are going to be the best Resident Evil games ever made, hands down. And that's just that's my opinion. But again, there's other games that are going to surpass it with technology for people that don't want to play it. And if they think that the older games are dated, then they're going to play these games, you know. But for me. I can play the old games. Not everybody can play the old games, though. It's not for everybody. Yeah, I wish they would up with it. I wish they would update those. Like, I know you can do it in like Dolphin Emulator. It looks pretty good. But I love those big fat like character models. I <laughs> wish they would just redo all three of them and just make them look really good on a big screen TV. Ah, uh, this is the furthest I ever made, and I died. Yeah, yeah, I'm playing this on my uh, 4K TV right now, but I, I have it, you know, in full screen like it's supposed to be, and, and it's okay. Uh, but, it, you know, GameCube never looks great on a on a TV unless it's a CRT, so. Fedora X. Uh, Mr. X with the Fedora is actually early early concept of Resident Evil 2. It seems what? like they're going, and some of the costumes in the Deluxe Edition, it's like they're going with the film noir kind of yeah. feel. With Ada in a trench coat and the Mister X with the hat, and that—that's it's interesting. I really like that kind of genre, uh, the, kind of mixed with the horror. The Mister S takes out a pipe and he's just like <laughs> drinking coffee, trying to figure something out. What, what's the most dangerous BOW? Uh, Shyboy asked. Dangerous. Uh, most dangerous BOW. Does non-canon count? I mean, it's whatever. <laughs> It's a statute of limitations on where you pull it from. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Excluding the movies, of course, the live action. We're not counting. No, not, no, no live action. No, 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 no. no. The no. strongest, that most deadly deal. Dollar store version of what we know. <laughs> um, man. Uh, What's going on, Carlos Cruz? What's up, man? White Wolf, Lucas, everyone in the chat, thank you for joining us. Bio organic weapon, strongest one. I would say Dr. Cameron from um, Biohazard 4D Executor. Okay. Because her virus is very interesting. If she pokes you or just nips you a bit, she infects you, and she can transfer her consciousness into your body and take over your entire Interesting. person. And then you turn into, like, this weird roach creature. Like, this weird, weird-looking creature. And it can be a whole bunch of her. How bad is Ada going to Friends and Leon this time around? I don't know. I guess we'll see. You should watch 4D Executor. It's pretty interesting. I've always wanted to watch it. I have not seen it. It's really good for a short film. For me, I think the fucking just hunters are just dangerous as fuck. Well, hunters are pretty annoying. But Type 2 Nemesis is a bad motherfucker, so that would be one of my, as far as dangerous, he is. When I played him on the stream, that was, like, the real deal. Like, no healing, just, like, one and done. Like, this is, <laughs> man, that was nuts. But it was so fulfilling. All the times mm -hmm. I died, it was totally worth it. Made for a good highlight, you know. Yeah, I love doing all Nemesis kills. But we should we should watch 4D Executor. It's, 4D, it's really nice how they 4D did it. 4D Executor Canon. Yes. No. Wait. No. They didn't really specify. <laughs> Nobody knows. Oh uh, well. They probably just forgot about it. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, whatever. You can what kill this? Really the dogs cool. in the hall with the knife. Oh well, fuck that, dude. Yeah, nobody's. I'm not about that life. I don't know if you about that life. With RE3, yeah, I can I can do a lot of stuff with the knife, but I never actually. Um, I have tried that game with knife only. I've done remake knife only. I've done that knife only, um, which is a lot of fun, challenging, a lot of fun. I played the fuck out of that game. I'm gonna play the fuck out of two. I'm gonna get all the trophies. 
Tyron actually nemesis. Tyron actually died pretty uh, easily, easier than I thought with the knife only at the end there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I also thought Plant 42 is probably one of the hardest ones, trying to get those tentacles. Oh, yeah. Like, going around the whole perimeter. Like, dude, that took for. I was like, this is... Oh, man. This is ridiculous. Um, but, yeah, that Tyrant was, it wasn't that bad. That, that knife in Cove Veronica... Cove Veronica has the best knife. Yeah, that knife is crazy. <laughs> it's super good. And then Deadly Silence. That knife is pretty yeah, good, too. Yeah, that really is. But Cove Veronica, you just cut him, like, twice on the leg, and they just fall. <laughs> yeah, it's like... <laughs> All right, we're good. It's like a multi-hitting knife. It is. You can hear it. It's the same thing with the tire yeah. on the plane, you know, to kick him off the plane. <laughs> it's just like... Pfft. Did you cough up a lung? <laughs> oh, shit. You heard that? Yeah. <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> Don't become a zombie. I put my headphones on mute. I guess it didn't work. <laughs> Where is Barry? Is infected. He's He's dead. <laughs> I, I've been sick, like Anthony said, like the day that the remake news came out, I started feeling sick. I've been sick for like a week. Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. It's, it's been like, you know, it's like that for me, too. You are now the ultimate bioweapon. Literally have the virus, like it's done. <laughs> All right. Glad I'm not using these headphones on a conference call at work and I think I'm on mute and I say something. <laughs> good to find that out here. Oh, but um, <laughs> it was funny. I don't think Nemesis is the, is the strongest BLW in Resident Evil. I mean, I love Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, and I'm biased against What the fuck, dude? The female film titan. Oh, or... Andrew McGavern. <laughs> oh, man. I remember they misspelled his name on the fucking... On the, <laughs> on the case. In the, in the fucking cover. But I'm, I'm pretty sure Morpheus could sit down Nemesis. Form 1 and Form 2. I don't know about Form 3. That one's kind of crazy. Yeah, form three is pretty nuts. But it is a, uh, it's kind of a fluke how he even got that form. Jason uh, said, "Where is Barry in the chat?" He's a zombie. He's probably. He's probably. <laughs> and then pow. And maybe then maybe Amanda maybe would... one day maybe one stream <laughs> I'll be able to to completely beat this for Survivor. <laughs> I, I don't keep, think I've ever beaten any of these uh, mini games. I keep, I keep getting further, and I've never streamed it, so I was like, "Fuck it, I'll just hang out and chat for a little bit and just attempt this, get try to get better and better at it." I did the same thing with the Saturn Battle Mode, except that I was a little bit more successful at this. They just don't give you enough healing. They just give you the fucking two, like a green herb with a blue herb, which is essentially just a green herb by itself, two green herbs, and that's it. So it's just trying to get around these enemy patterns and dodging and knowing when to run. You don't have to kill everything. You just have to get mm -hmm. to the end on the rooftop with the helicopter. <clears throat> You're making Hunk look like a punk. I know. <laughs> He's supposed to be the the living, breathing, whatever of death. Essence. <laughs> Can't find the words. Umbrella lackey. Yeah, so I, uh, what's going on, uh, Blue Bomber 87? What's up, man? What's up? Somebody's a Crimson Head. You gotta take him out. Crimson Heads are freaking cool. That was a nice addition to Remake. Yeah, wonder if they're, we wonder what they will announce, if they're gonna do it. If they're gonna, you know, do something else. Oh, you know the, the silhouette of the little girl in the trailer? The Rego yeah. trailer for Resident Evil 2? I mean, yeah, I'm on the side that is Sherry, but I would also like. <laughs> don't like say it. it. <laughs> don't not say no it. no not Natalia. Evelyn. Don't no, say not it. Not Natalia. <laughs> and no. and and Barry, if you make a fucking video on that, I'm gonna, <laughs> I will come and find you. People that think it's you freaking asshole. um. People that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I've I've heard it. People think it's freaking Evelyn. I I'm had like, to what? bring that up on the show because like, I was like. I was like, just in case these people are listening. <laughs> because Evelyn wasn't um, born until 2014. <laughs> Unless it doesn't take place in 1998. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Bro, that would piss so many people off. I would probably laugh 
so fucking hard if that happened, and I would just like be just because in awe of of how many people would just be so let down. <laughs> yeah. So I let think, down. I think they're using an enemy from older cons. There's there's two female enemies that I can think of. There's the transforming girl, and the parasite woman. Mm-hmm. I think it's parasite woman. Uh, the transforming girl, it looks like a girl, a little girl, sure. or a big girl, whatever. But if you get close to it, it transform it, it transforms into like this tyrant and it tries to kill you. What? <laughs> and then there's this poison woman or girl, whatever. If you when that thing from the back, it looks like a normal person. But when it turns around, it has like these big claw big claws and a gaping mouth and like hands on his chest. It's it's weird. And I'm thinking that maybe they brought one of those early enemies back. It would be cool to have more variety in Resident Evil 2 Remake with the enemies. Because I think the original, we only have Liquor's, mm-hmm. Liquor's Mr. X and normal zombies and dogs. So it would be nice to have like one or two new enemies, like Remake. Yeah, just to switch it up and give it enough, you know, variety, and, and I, mm-hmm. I just want to know how long it's going to be, like how long the overall game is going to be. Yo, I hate first person, Jason said in the chat. Yo, zombie it children would be... Natalia's mom and Evelyn's grandmother. <laughs> Natalia, <laughs> confirm. Oh, man. You heard her here first. I wonder if Capcom will do zombie children. That'd be terrifying. I hate children in well, any horror well, that's, or anything. <laughs> here's here's the thing. Like that that's the, what I love about the original Dawn of the Dead is that like it shows the children zombies and it's so like like that because in real life like if apocalypse did happen and something like that like that would mm-hmm. be the case you know and and I think it's it's very very vicious and dark. But and I fucking died again. Fuck. It just kids look creepy already, and then you zombie, yeah, it, zombie, <laughs> you I, zombie. I feel like they should do worse. it. It would definitely be good <laughs> if they do it in, in, you know, good taste, not just for like the shock. Like George, mm-hmm. George Romero, like just did it because again, that was just a realistic depiction of how yeah that movie was. And then by the time Day of the Dead hits, it's like nobody's alive, and there is no hope left. And that no. is where there is, oh man, that's just like to me like the whole city streets and everything getting like overrun. Like, I feel like that is like where, you know, Capcom really drew that influence was from like something like day of the dead, where it was just vicious, like, and the aftermath of how everything is, it's, it's amazing because what I I love about three is, is like, you know, two doesn't show the, 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 the hell of everything. Yeah. Three shows it in a different light. And what I like about three is that, again, it does feel more of an isolated thing because you know that there's other people around in the city right now being of all of the people we know involved. loved. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everyone involved. But it still feels like by the time you're, you know, out of the clock tower and you're in the park, it feels like there's like nothing left. Like, it just feels like it's just like there there is nobody else. And they, like to capture that feeling that, that being alone I wonder how that's going to be if they ever remake it, but that's why I love 3 so much, you know? Yeah, that's why I like 3. That end is is really challenging. Sam well, Chris, it depends. Sam Chris said, are, are any of you guys... Any of you guys seen the videos on the canceled creatures from the Resident Evil series? Videos. I mean, I know about all of the canceled creatures because Wikipedia is... Somebody okay. sent me that video today and titled it Clickbait. And then I was like, I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> but I, I didn't watch it. I don't I don't know who that Wait. was from. I was thinking about something. Oh, yeah. Have you ever played a game called Dying Light? I have. I, I played the first few hours of it, and then I was like, eh, I'm over this. <laughs> There's a zombie child in there. And it's, the way they did it is so good. It's subtle. And then it seems like a normal kid and you go up to it and then it looks at you and it looks freaking awful and it starts screaming and then it attracts a whole bunch of zombies and you're just like, it's so, it was so nice the way they did it. Cause you go into this room, it's dark and there's like this figure in the middle of the room. There's a little um, candle next to it. Yeah. Can't really make it out, but you hear the thing crying, the kid crying. 
And you go up to him and you're like, oh, what's what's wrong? And then it turns around and it's like drooling blood and stuff. Mm. And then it screams. I jumped out of my seat. I was like, wow. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, that kind of sounds similar to like uh, the Dawn of the Dead remake when they remade that. Mm-hmm. The first zombie in there is like a little girl, and like that's when you first find out that they can run. Like they fucking run. Oh, like these boy. are, yeah. So that that reminds me of that where it's like, like drooling, and she had like shit drooping from her mouth and stuff like that. It's really cool. Um, yeah, man, bring on the zombie babies. I'm down. Zombie children, please. Zombie babies would be awesome. Um, it left for dead correct me if too. I'm wrong, or I'm, correct I'm, me, I'm, correct, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, you know the Zack Snyder, Dawn of the Dead. That's what remake? I was talking about. Yeah. Yeah, that's was that the first one with the zombie baby, like in the in the world. I don't know. Movie. I know it had a zombie baby in it with the whole like uh, birth scene. Yeah. Yeah, that was very strange. Because I don't remember any other zombie film. With, like, Unless a zombie it was some baby. like European one, definitely like the first in America. Uh huh. But. Raiden yeah, said, do you, cool. do you guys believe they will do puzzle justice? I hope the puzzles aren't simple and mediocre. Like Resident Evil I think they might be. I think they might be simple because the way people consume games and play games nowadays. Oh, I can't do puzzles. Yeah. It hurts the, my head. There were a couple, <laughs> uh, the, the couple that are in the demo are pretty simple. Yeah, <laughs> they look simple enough. The one of them's like, You'll never be able to open your desk. Just give the th- initials of our first names, and then their name tags are just on their desks, like right next to the lock. It's so, so easy. Yeah, the puzzles from the demo just look brain dead easy. Yeah. Well, th- that's the thing. It, you know, they again, like you said, the the casual audience is there, and yeah. so they're going to be playing it. So it's just it is what it is. They don't want it to be a chore, I guess. No, because we're used to it to the old Resident Evil games. It's like second nature. Exactly. So. Playing... Except the water sample. <laughs> yeah. yeah you know. I can't do that. It's so funny. Like, you know, I have all the Let's Plays archived, like all of them and uh, all on playlist. And the one the you know, over the years, like the Let's Plays get, you know, more views and consistent people like look at them. The people that want to watch Let's Plays, but my water sample puzzle is always the most viewed video because that was on the icon, so everybody clicks it to, like, you know, check to see what the the mm-hmm. uh, randomization was for them. So I just thought that's always funny. The water sample never dies. Always here. Yeah, that's another thing I'm worried about. With two remake, they're going to hold your hand. It looks like, like, you know, Dead Space, you have the little thing, the little tracker you put yeah. on the floor, and it guides you through the whole I, game. I'm mixed about that. <laughs> I really yeah, am. it looks like they're going to guide you through the whole game in 2 Remake. Because when you open a map, there's like rooms flashing. Like, hey, go here. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like 7-2. It's it's going to tell you your objective on the screen. Yeah. So I guess it's the fun part's going to be to go off on your own on the side. Yeah, and that's going to be the fun. Just, yeah. Stuff. Yeah. You just more. veer off the path and you'll maybe find some cool stuff. B-Dog or get freaking 30... decked by Mr. X. B-Dog33 says, do you think the over-the-shoulder will work with R2? Yeah, I think with the modern approach it will. Uh, if you're mm-hmm. just joining, we talked about that. But if you're just joining in, yeah, that's what we, that's how we feel about that. Uh, Mitchell said early Silent Hill games had a separate difficulty setting for the puzzles. Yes, you're right. Um, I play the programmers who had to make the same puzzles four times with various. Th- yeah, that's crazy. Um, yeah, I'm gonna. I wonder what I'm gonna stream it on when I do it. Should I just go for like the hardest puzzle? Say fuck it. But I have I have my friend Dave there, so he'll he'll know how to get through those puzzles Ooh, i died by dogs that time well, hello everybody i am why do you bite me yes we got why do you bite me and where's barry Promotion. for anybody who's <laughs> joining where's barry is back after a hiatus of gaming and yeah, gone screens like years. and when i talk i talk like a normal person i don't say hey everybody like in the <laughs> video so people might not know <laughs> Yeah, I liked your return video. It started off like, hey, guys, and you're like, <clears throat> that was cool. I stole that from Arrested Development. Uh, they did a season three, and the narrator started talking like that and then just coughed and then yeah. went back into his old form. <laughs> that was cool. pretty awesome. Would you guys be okay if they chose to wreck on anything with this remake? Well, it will be its own thing, so... 
It's just it is what it is. That's some game. So whatever they do is what they do. But give me my Resident Evil 3, goddammit. Uh, hope she takes that stupid trench coat off. That trench coat that she has, that's early concept of Resident Evil 2. Or the raincoat. She looks like a fucking spy. Yeah, she looks like a legit spy now. So that's pretty cool. Like, they're going for a more realistic approach. Dress. Yeah, everybody looks believable now. I don't mind it. Everything looks real. Like, you could, you would believe Resident Evil 2 actually happened in, in our world. <laughs> sure. That's, it looks like that. She's also standing outside, and <laughs> she's standing outside, and it's raining. So, like, mm -hmm. it's not. It, maybe she'll wear that the whole time. Maybe she just has it because it's, you know, it's raining out. People like really looking into that one second yeah. of freeze frame. Yeah. They really have been. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not raining outside. But it is raining outside. Is there a raincoat? Is there a jacket? Where's the red dress? It looks stupid. I mean. If it looks stupid to you, it looks stupid to you. Can't really change your mind on it. And the the producers or the We Do It guys who are just like the marketing people right now, they they said way. something like, uh, "Is eight? Someone says eight in the game or something." And they're like, oh, "I don't know. Look at the trailer. Maybe you'll see a clue." Uh... It's like, God. I mean, it's her. Course, you look in at the game. She's in yeah, the you game. You look at the concept. It's her. I just, they did. They put everything else in there, but she's just not in the game. <laughs> like, yeah. she's the one thing they don't put. That's funny, man. Let's see. I'm getting these patterns down a little bit better. Hey, Hunnigan, no glasses. I like the way Claire looks. Personally. I mean, it sucks she doesn't have the Maiden Heaven. Yeah, but you know, it's a new yeah, game. You can't do nothing about it. This isn't the Resident Evil 2. Everyone knows yeah. and loves. No. I mean, I would have I personally have loved to see the Maiden Heaven on her back. At least have something that resembles the original Claire. Yeah, like... Will she still have her bike? Probably. Yeah, she has a little biker jacket on. Yeah, it seems that way. My mom actually has it. that type of jacket, but it's in black. It's, I'm telling you, it's the same jacket. The button up that Claire has on, but it's just black. Like, what are the odds? Yeah, it's it's kind of interesting, like, where they go, like, wardrobe-wise. But I like, like, what where's Barry saying with, like, the whole uh, costume thing? It's just... Uh, Giving the bonus content is, is awesome. Like they'll probably give out more stuff uh, as it goes along. <laughs> wow, Mitchell. What if they took out Ada and replaced her with um the girl from Dead Aim? Fong Ling. <laughs> Wait. Uh... <laughs> like That's, Ada doesn't exist anymore. That would be the total. Oh that, and then they're like, nope, this is it. This is our new game. You guys want it. Oh Here it is. Oh, my God. That is amazing. That would I would cry. <laughs> No, I, I just got my idea for the next video. I, I don't think it's Ada. I think it's uh, Fong Ling. Ev it's Evelyn standing <laughs> on Natalia's shoulders wearing a trench coat, pretending to be an adult. Man, that would be funny though. Sneaking around and fucking. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> no, they retcon every game. They retcon four if they do that. They retcon six. Yeah. Uh, they retcon damnation. They got a lot of work to do if they do that. Hell no, no fongling. The chat was like, no. They're like, please stop. Don't do this. <laughs> Leon in the chat, what's going on, man? I mean, to me, fongling was more interesting than Ada. Yeah. Because fongling actually seemed like a proper spy. But Ada was fucking badass, man. Yeah, yeah, she is badass. But Ada, Ada's she has fucking... emotion. Leon. Leon. Yeah, she has emotion. Either, yeah. I mean, maybe she's manipulating Leon. That son of a bitch. But the the Fung Ling chick, she does not care. Does not give a fuck. She doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, Dead Aim. Bring it back. Let's go. And Dead Aim's underrated. I mean, I know the cutscenes are a meme. They but... are funny. <laughs> Well, the game itself is like I said, fun. when Richard it's, did it's his unique. old Let's Play on it, did you watch that? Yeah, I watched that. You did? That's what got me into the game. Really? Yeah. 
Yeah, cause like he was. I would send him screenshots of the uh, like of the cutscene. He's like, I didn't even see that, and it's like a pixel like glitching out, and it's just it's so like it's so bad. <laughs> it's just so bad. I just like how the subtitles are completely different from what the characters are saying. Yeah. And then the music's really loud, so you can't even really hear the. It character. really is, and it still sounds like they recorded it in like a like a fucking bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> like sur- like Survivor, bathroom. like Survivor, like they both like they both sound similar in audio quality, like Gun Survivor. And I love mm-hmm. how the Japanese subtitles "Heroes Never Die." Like, what the fuck kind of subtitle is that? <laughs> Heroes never die. Stars. That's funny. Thank you for the subscription. Wait. Law and struggle. My favorite Resident Evil character is, uh, 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 Jill for me. That's hard. Jill I'm torn between me. Jill and Chris. I'll yeah, pick Jill because she has titties. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> by, de- the, by default, just pick one. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, Leon is obviously the fan favorite. That just goes without saying. Leon is, he was my favorite for a while, but he's too over the top for me, so he kind of like fell off for me. I mean, I was young when I was younger because Resident Evil 4 is the game that got me into the series. He was my favorite for a while until I went back and played the older games, and then I see how the older games are more grounded, less silly, and more serious. Mm -hmm. And then um, like Leon just fell for my favorites. Then I picked up Jill. First of all, Nikolai. I liked Nikolai. I was hoping they did more with Nikolai, but nothing really happened with him. He kind of just disappeared. Yeah, he kind of did. That's why I hope they, you know, get back to it. Yeah, Nikolai's probably dead. That dude took all his money. He took all that research, cashed it in, got all that money, went to the Bahamas, and just died of old age. (laughs) (laughs) He said, I'm done. I'm I'm done with these conspiracies. I'm done with these bioterrorists. Like, I'm just, I'm over it. When uh, When I was a kid, or when I was younger... And I'm playing three. I was like, Nikolai is pretty interesting because what he did was smart and it was cruel. Like, um, the UBCS were sent in to rescue survivors. But in the UBCS, there's a small group of people that are called monitors. And those people, they are the, um, they're higher up there on umbrellas, I guess, line of command or whatever. So the UBCS, they don't know that they're being used to test the stuff that they run into, like test the, how strong the monsters and stuff are in Raccoon City. But the monitors know. And the monitors have to record every single interaction with the UBCS and whatever monster they run into. And whoever has the most research, at the end of the day, they get a large chunk of money. Whoever has the most, they get the more money. They get more money. So what Nikolai did is he killed every single monitor yep. and took their research. Out of my way. Yeah, and then you see the last one he kills, Patrick Terrell, yep. like the, the black dude with the glasses. Right in the hospital. You see that. And yeah, Nikolai yeah. is cold. He's one of my favorites. Just from Resident Evil 3, he's always one of my favorites. I love Nikolai, but he just doesn't have enough for me to just say that. And that's what a remake could do. I love Jill. Yeah. Give him more. Yeah, give, give Nikolai more. more. You're like giving, I, oh man! You're giving, you're giving Marvin more, you know. Marvin deserves it. Uh huh. Just like they give, they're giving Marvin more screen time, a lot more screen time. I'm hoping he gets more after that demo, because you know when Leon comes back, he's like, oh man, I'm done. And he just like tapping. Yeah, he's already like, tapping <laughs> out. Yeah. Already I'm like hoping done. that he lives a little bit longer, and they do something like from Resident Evil 1.5, where Kendo and Marvin they do something in the sewer with Leon. And then he can tap out. That would be cool. And yeah, he goes a little yeah, bit longer and he taps out. Like um sprinkle a little bit one point five in there. You know, yeah. sprinkle it in. Some more. Just, let's just say that Leon does everything that Marvin says. He makes yeah. it to the sewer. And he's like, Come on, Marvin, we can get out of here. M- and Mitchell, then he's going through the, he's going through the sewer of Marvin and then Marvin just like, Oh, I'm done, fam. <laughs> Mitchell brought up a good point. SC Perry put a lot of depth in Nikolai. Yeah, she did. Yep. When, they're, when they're on the rooftop and everything and like yep. they're there, you know, you got all the fucking soldiers that he's just like, I can't wait to just fucking kill all these like fucking people. Like it goes inside his head, and all the mm-hmm. like the soldiers are throwing up and shit. They can't handle it, and I love. To die. I love that. I love the SD Perry. I love the SD, SD Perry, Perry books. Novels. I love them. I love them. They're so good. I, my favorite one is Umbrella Conspiracy. 
I love Umbrella Conspiracy. That's definitely like number two. Um, yeah, but uh, I'd say first for me is obviously Resident Evil Nemesis. I haven't finished Nemesis yet. I'm halfway, so it'd probably change my opinion. It changed for sure. I like how it starts off where um the Nemesis book freaking uh it starts with Carlos naked. <laughs> yeah. Carlos is getting out the shower. A like, nice nice start. Nice start. I like how also Jill and Carlos like think about romanticizing like like mm-hmm. they have this like weird like daydreams. It's it's very interesting. Um and Dick Valentine her dad. Yeah. <laughs> Dick Valentine, that's why he was a master thief. Oh my god. And Jill didn't want to be a part of that, so she became a cop and she uses her skills, everything she learned from her dad. But that's dope. Though. I think that's <laughs> yeah. funny, that's badass. I have all the books. Yeah, I have I have the original covers, not the bullshit new ones. Yeah, I have the original covers. The new ones are bad Photoshop. That's so bad. <laughs> Why do they put them out like that? It's so, it's so Photoshop. You can tell. It's that's so lazy. So bad. Like drag and drop and just put a backdrop. <laughs> it's a random backdrop. Oh, um, it's like the um, the you know the Resident Evil card game. I know mean, you have you I have do, them. Yeah, the boxes are lazy Photoshop, but it's not as bad as the new books. Yeah, you know, it's not. It's it's cool. Give me a little the bit more ways cool. with Kendo playable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, the ladies love my accent. You know the cool thing with Kendo. Kendo was actually supposed to escape Raccoon City. He was supposed to leave Raccoon City, go to the secret meeting uh, place to give Barry his magnum. Mm-hmm. He made a magnum for Barry, but he ended up give, giving the magnum to a random person so they can defend themselves. It would be cool to see that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, original covers are a lot better. A lot better. I actually have a, uh, a Japanese uh, Resident Evil 2 that I got to unbox. I'm going to do a video on it. It's in, it's in. I got it from Japan, man. I got a good deal on this bid. Really good deal. Like, insanely you do good. A bid? Yeah, I do a collection update. I got a couple other things that I got coming. Uh, but uh, I'll I'll do that as well. I'll do an unboxing of that. And it'll be all good. Oh, Nikolai, though. This is, I really want to remake now, because if they redo 3 remake and they add more to Nikolai, he's automatically my number one favorite character. <laughs> Automatically, because I love Nick. I love bad characters, bad guys. I always root for the bad guys. So, uh, Barry, who are you gonna play with uh, first, as far as you know, Claire or Leon? Oh, he's the dude. So, <laughs> Leon first. Yeah, I really want to. My favorite character in the game is Kendo, and I think Claire's gonna run to him first. But I think I'm just gonna go with Leon first. Yeah. Yeah, I'm probably going to do Claire. Probably Claire. Because I might be doing a dual stream, so we'll see. But. Yeah, I might actually do Claire as well. So, I don't know. But it'll be cool, though. I, I can't wait to see, like, the different people streaming it. I'm sure we all will be. And, uh. Yeah, just enjoy it. But I think it'll be cool to be going, going in blind, you know? Do, do it more of, like, a. I was thinking about doing more of like a let's play style. Like I'll stream it, but I'll be, it'll be like really immersive of like finding stuff out together and whatnot uh, for mm-hmm. people that want to watch it. You know. Yeah, I hope they don't do any. There's not like leaks like Resident Evil Seven like a week before everyone's spamming and you know here's what happens at the end and yeah. here's oh, oh that was so annoying. It's like you got to stay off social media, but you also need it to like share your content and everything. And it's like, fuck, dude. So you got to be very careful. Um, yeah, I'll probably just stay off social media for a little bit around that time. Because like you said, it does get out. And sometimes you accidentally see something that you don't want to see. And then you're yeah. like, fuck, if I just like didn't go on this fucking Twitter bullshit. Like, <laughs> yeah, I hate Twitter. Yeah, I, 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 I'd say at least 150 people either in on every platform, Facebook, Twitter, everyone said Chris Redfield's at the end before the game even came out. Yeah. I saw it a hundred times. I'm like, well, I guess I know. I know. The pain. <laughs> like, yeah, I know the pain. I was really invested in this anime, and then um, I follow a lot of anime people on Twitter, and they spoiled this whole episode for me. I'm like, are you serious? Might as well watch it now. 
Yeah, it just takes a it takes the life out of something when there's yeah. something to be held out, you know, for it because you're like, well, you know, let me let me let me bring out the you know, the surprises as they roll out and experience it, you know, like like you should. It's just, you know, fresh and blunt. Like I want it to be raw and then I go on Twitter and they're just like, Nope. Ripping off that condom. Yeah, exactly. They're no just, pulling on putting on that on three condoms. They're, no they're, wrong. They're like they're like no. This is uh we're gonna we're gonna stop you there. We're gonna stop cop block <laughs> you for the excitement, and that's gonna be it. And you're gonna deal with it, and and that's it. And I, I think again that's why it's just bad to to be on those sites when something's coming out. I do I did the same thing for like Metal Gear. I did the same thing for uh, Last of Us. Um, so Last of Us too. I gotta like. Not even going going near it. Like I'm not just even near my phone. I just unfollow people. The anime people, I just unfollowed every single person. Like, yeah, because nope. and then when you have the ones with like the you know expensive stories, it's like you know you don't want them yep. to be like spoiled. Ruined. Yeah, it's just like oh fuck. And then sometimes you gotta like go through a lot of time just to watch those episodes. So. But you know. there's there's some people who enjoy spoilers because if they know what's going to happen, they can focus on other things in the show or anime or movie. Mm-hmm. And those people sometimes they can enjoy it more when they're spoiled. Exactly. It's weird. Yeah, no, yeah, no, it's yeah, weird. It, it, like you're right. It's definitely yeah. a, a crowd. I think we could all relate to like yeah. people that we've seen that like they just enjoy it. Like they just enjoy spoiling. It's like, but 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 because yeah, wanna... they can focus on other stuff yeah it's like but i want this or it's like um it's like the people do like you you get the spoiler and like the spoiler is maybe like a a combination to like a puzzle and then if you do the puzzle there's a cool picture on it so if you know how to solve the puzzle then you can just focus on enjoying the picture or whatever i don't know if that's a good analogy (laughs) but if you don't know what to do with the puzzle and you're just going in there raw then you have to you're why you're you're trying to solve the puzzle and you're also trying to figure out what you're looking at yeah that makes any sense (laughs) no i see but some people yeah some people just if they're spoiled they enjoy it more b dog 33 says when r2 comes out are you going to be streaming or just making videos i'll be doing both what i do is initially because i do it in a more let's play format i am recording it so i get all the footage while i'm streaming and then i uh you know, have my computer right by my side and I'm taking notes and writing my thoughts and impressions. Uh, and that's the kind of reviewing process of everything. Mm-hmm. I love your stuff. I've been watching you for so long and I'm finally here a second time. Second time. Yeah. I appreciate <laughs> that. And Thanks. it's fun. I've been having fun so far. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be calling a stream in about five minutes, uh, and uh, but just because I'm just at this point, I'm just playing rookie mode, like I'm just fucking around. <laughs> yeah. But uh, but yeah, it's uh, I want to again. I've been doing more live streams because I have more of a consistent schedule now, so I'm going to be doing uh, the streams on specific days. So I'll be setting all that up soon, uh, so everybody knows when to you know catch the streams and whatnot. Yeah, looking forward to it. And you guys can obviously always jump in when I get uh when I wanna just have people come in and talk and chat and there's a lot of uh good stuff that we're gonna be able to do. Streaming wise, content wise, we'll be able to have a good time. A very good time. Very good time. I like how Rookie Mode just gives you the rocket launcher and the Gatling gun, like they just give you everything. <laughs> I have to refresh or refresh the stream. It's just like on a swiggle. There we go. Oh, it's Claire with the booty shorts. Yeah. Those pixels making me sweat. The GameCube. <laughs> the GameCube smooth textures. It's so smooth. Anyone wants some tofu comes with beef tips. <laughs> <laughs> well, tofu is coming back. Tofu confirmed. It's like when you get spoiled, you don't have to do any work. You don't have to sit there and try to figure out what the heck's going on as you're watching a piece of entertainment. Exactly. And if you're spoiled, it's just easier to enjoy it. 
and some people still get the wow factor even though they even though they already know what's going to happen because they haven't seen it yet exactly. even though they i mean they know but they haven't seen it yet it just me personally i like to be surprised So before we get out of here, um, you guys want to plug anything? Plug your respective channels and your social medias. I can do that. Yeah, Kyle. I like your band, Kyle. Bear, you could do that. My the mods. There, are I, I don't. You, 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 here's the thing. No, no, no. Here, here's what I come from the era of YouTube where that wasn't that wasn't a fucking problem. Like you did a yeah, podcast yeah. and you just fucking plugged it, and that's fine. You're allowed to do that. Like if I have other people on my my channel. All the way going back from Richard, JJ, everybody. I always let them plug their stuff. So all that whole streaming fucking weird, like, hipty dipty bullshit shit, I am not for that whatsoever. <laughs> you guys are, anytime you come on my channel, I always say, plug your shit before you go. Because we're all content creators and we gotta spread the word and keep it going. So, it's important. So, fuck that. Yeah, no, you're not, no, you're not getting banned. So, go ahead and plug your shit. Oh, I can't even plug it. YouTube's like, nope. What you doing? <laughs> Hold up. You could uh, say you're. You could. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say it out loud. Uh, oh. um, you can follow. I'm. I'm, I'm where's Barry. I'm where's Barry. Um, and you can follow me on Twitter. <laughs> where at where's Barry B? And I'm posting a crap load of Resident Evil Two news. I'm like refreshing google every five seconds to find the latest news on that and then my channel is you can click on my name in the chat yep and i'll be putting a link to all your guys' channel in the archives uh description so you guys can check them out on the links below and then we got i'll do for uh for kyle it's whitey bite me so there you go that's it <laughs> because they're gonna find you and, and they're gonna be like why did you say it on stream no <laughs> but uh Yes. Um, yeah. Thank you all in the chat. This is a great turnout. Uh, thank you guys for coming on and keeping the conversation going. It was a fun, a few temps of four survivor. It's fucking hard, but, uh, after all these years, I still suck at it. So I'm going to have to practice, but I, I got it unlocked though. So most people can't even do that. Right. So it's something, but I can't uh, even play those. So, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Obviously, the new episode of the in-depth podcast discussion. Uh, these these two guys in the room have listened to it. You guys should as well. Uh, it's on Libsyn, iTunes, and Spotify for free. Let's talk Resident Evil. You can follow me on Facebook, facebookcom slash Let's Talk Resident Evil, twitch.tv slash Let's Talk Resident Evil, and obviously Twitter at Let's Talk underscore re. And check out the podcast. Download all that stuff. Stay tuned for more collection updates more Resident Evil 2 discussion videos where we talk to you guys and talk to you about your comments and whatnot. So um, appreciate all the support. Thank you guys for coming on the stream. I really appreciate it. Thanks like for having Jill us. Hentai. Yeah, and we'll link up uh, soon. So see you guys Jill in the next hentai. one. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. forever. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> all right. Hey, that was fun. Don't let me fix my laptop or oh